um, that was really a great night for us just to get out and, and uh, just play football, you know, and uh, uh, just the, the, the procedure of everything, you know, the procedure of the special teams, the transition to offense and defense, uh, competing. You saw how we did it. It was basically the, the ones against everybody else, and then we moved some guys around. But it was just, you know, they needed that. They needed to just cut it loose and play football. And so I was, I was happy with the way it went. We had no injuries, no dings. We came out of it completely healthy. So, uh, so it's a good way to end camp. And uh, you know, tomorrow morning we're going to have the fan fest at, uh, I believe, 9:15. And uh, these guys will all be out here signing autographs. So we encourage everyone to come out. Uh, we are not going to practice in the morning. We're just going to do the fan fest. So uh, that's. And the players know that. I wasn't going to tell them that I did. Because I want to be able to tell people that are watching and, and planning to come out. So it was a great camp. I mean, it's, it's always fun to come to San Bernardino. Uh, for me, I don't know if it's fun for them. Uh, but I think it's just a great place for us to come as a team and get away, eliminate distractions, uh, you know, participate in a tough camp and a tough environment. I think it helps us bond as a team. I think it helps us as we you know, get into the season, we have some adversity, it helps us learn how to overcome it. And I think it brings us closer as a team and that's the reason to do it. So thanks to San Bernardino for once again, putting on an amazing, amazing camp for us. They're so accommodating. The fields are great, the dorms are great, the food is great, everything's, everything's first class. We're really lucky to have this facility to come to. So everything's good. From evaluating the quarterback competition, are, do you put any extra emphasis on the scrimmage tonight? I mean, it's part of it. It's not anything extra. It's just part of it. Uh, I think it's, I won't say that it's more or less. I think it's just another practice for those guys. You know, they weren't live. Everyone around them was live. You know, there were some times when it probably would have been a sack when I let it go a little bit longer because I want to see how they'd react. Uh, we're not going to make that decision yet. You know, I, I, I would love to be able to make that decision, but to be, you know, perfectly frank, I'm not prepared. We're not prepared to make that decision yet, and uh, we want to make sure when we do make it that it's the right decision, that we have conviction about it, that we can stick with it, uh, and that's that's what we're going to do. So I know people are interested in it. It's interesting. I mean, it's it's a great story, and you know, especially when you've got a high-profile guy like Josh come in. I mean, and, and you've got Jerry Neuheisel, who's Rick's son. It's a you know, it's a pretty compelling story, but we can't let that affect our decision making. Not for an announcement, but realistically, when do you think you kind of have to well, have that? Gosh, I mean, I, I mean, I, I have to have it done by 12.30 on September 5th, <laughs> okay? But I would like to have it done, um, what is today, Friday? Yeah. I, I mean, I would like to be able to make that decision next weekend at the latest, so as we go into our, our tried and true prep for Virginia, on Monday before that game that we that we know exactly which way we're going. That's that's the goal. So we've got a few more practices back at uh, Westwood. We're still in a training camp mode. We've still got two two-a-days left. Uh, and, you know, we'll see. I, I'll tell you this, though. I, I'm encouraged by, you know, it was tough on Mike tonight. You know, he was running with a different, a different offensive line against a different defense. So, you know, really the comparison would be Jerry and Josh tonight. And I was impressed with both of them. You know, I thought they both handled themselves well. I thought they both made good throws. Uh, there were some, you know, unfortunate drops that, that Josh had that, you know, would have made his things look a little bit better. But when you stand back there and you evaluate, like, their presence in the pocket or how they move around or how they control the team, both of them are very comfortable, you know, and they're both in control. So that's an encouraging thing. Did it seem like Soso -so kind of showed up a little bit tonight in the full pads? A little better, yeah. I think he's really learning. You know, it's an adjustment, and everyone makes it at a different pace. And uh, you saw him drop his pads better. The thing that you notice about Bolo is when he gets in the open field, he's smooth and he's elusive, and, he, and you know, he's got long speed. Um, he's a linear guy, so it's not as easy for him to drop his pads as it is for a guy like Bolu, you know. But both of those guys really showed up, as did Rosie. I mean, our running game. I think we've got a good running game. I think we can run the ball. So, uh, you know, Perkins looked good. We kept, we let Nate run it a couple times, but his foot was bothering him, so we pulled him out. But I think that we've got a really good group of backs. And is there a way, I mean, you're kind of glad that the Clem thing is now finally resolved and can move forward from it? Well, we have a little more clarity. I mean, I'm not allowed yet to speak on it, but at least we can plan, uh, you know, for those first couple weeks. And how we're, how we're going to address it. So that that is a positive, absolutely. Do you think you guys do you think you guys will approach it the same way as you did in spring in terms of filling his role? 
I don't know yet. I mean, I, it's something that we'll sit down and talk about. I, I can tell you this. I feel very confident that uh, we have the men in place to, to make it work whatever direction we decide to go in. We've got an excellent staff. I mean, it's, there's some really good football coaches on the staff, so I feel comfortable with it. Is he still able to practice via practice? Yes. Yes. Was that a Darius Pickett in at the end of that? That was. Back? Yeah, we... <laughs> <laughs> After I asked about it the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you spark something in us. No. Yeah, Derek, what we and we kind of planned to give him a couple carries, and then uh, when Nate wasn't feeling as good, and we didn't want to put Paul back in, then we gave him some carries, and uh, we put Mossy in at safety for right. a couple plays. Uh, other than that, we didn't really move many guys around. But we talked about that earlier about maybe giving Mossy a couple snaps at safety, and maybe giving Adarius a couple snaps at running back, especially if the numbers got low. And uh, Adarius. Look pretty darn good. You might be onto something. <laughs> I might be totally wrong. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs>